Somebody say, you've been authorized. So, so Jesus, look what he tells his disciples. He tells them, he says, go preach. The kingdom is at hand. Next verse, next verse, next verse. Look what he says. Heal the sick, cleanse lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely you, you, you give. Now listen, this is, in case you, didn't understand, you couldn't understand what heal the sick meant, he said, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers. In other words, heal what they say is incurable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm about to mess y'all up for real. Some of y'all about to be upset for real. Some of y'all about to be upset for real. Some of y'all about to be upset. And he says, raise the what? So that if the sickness killed him, it ain't over. I remember we was in Florida. We were sitting around. And I said to Dr. Nelson, I said, Dr. Nelson, how many people in your almost 50 years of ministry has God used you to raise from the dead? She said, well, son, I can't even count. It's so many people. I said, well, just let me tell you the people I remember. I said, I remember Mother Coffee. I said, when I was a little kid, you prayed for her when she had died. And she came to church, and everybody ran, and they was excited. Then she died again. And you, you went into the hospital, prayed for her. She would live about a couple more years. And she got up and testified on one Sunday night because we, at Bible Way, they still have testimony to this day on Sunday night. And she got up and said, she said, somebody do me a favor. If I die again, y'all tell Eula don't show up. <laughs> I knew she was serious because she called her Eula. Y'all tell Eula, she said, because two times I have made it to glory. I can't afford to keep taking chances. <laughs> I remember Della dropped dead in the service. Dr. Nelson just sat there ever so patiently praying in the spirit while everybody was going off frantic. The EMTs was brought into the building and they pronounced her dead. And I always was wondering why she didn't move right away. She said, I didn't move because the Holy Spirit hadn't released me yet. I said, good. Y'all, we, we talking some, some of y'all just like, what, what? And the EMT said, she's been dead over 20 minutes. Even if we get a heartbeat, it won't matter. She'll be a vegetable. She'll be brain dead. And that's when the Holy Spirit must have authorized her. Because she stepped off the pulpit and said, tell her, I command your spirit to come back to your body. Uh, uh, I know y'all don't believe it, but you'll watch the show Resurrection and believe that. Y'all ain't gonna help me, but, but when I talk about the real resurrected one living on the inside of you, and Della set up and started coughing, and the EMTs took off running, because when you are, when you know somebody is dead, in other words, you've been taught to check when somebody, when you know somebody, they took off running. Now, the church took off running, but they wasn't running out of fear. They were praising, but the EMTs were getting, they left all their equipment and got up out of there. So she said to her, to Della, she said, how many fingers do I got up? Where are you at? She said, in other words, I administered my own test to ensure and make sure everybody knew she wasn't a vegetable. When God resurrects you, I'll be done in a minute. Somebody holler, you've been authorized. You've been authorized. I just begin to go through the countless times that God had used her that I remember seeing. And I begin to tell her, I said, let me tell you something that's so crazy. I was in Atlanta, Georgia in the Marriott Marquis and a little girl had drowned in the swimming pool and the mother was screaming. I was on my way to do a, a, to preach somewhere. And I went in and I said, well, you know what? I'm just going to do what I saw Dr. Nelson do. I said, I command, what's her name? I said, I command you to come back to your body. That girl began to spit up and set up. Her mother began to cry uncontrollably. All I did was say, to God be the glory left and went and preached. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. What am I trying to tell you? What, what, what's the difference between Dr. Nelson? What's the difference?
difference between a Paul and the Bible? What's the difference between they got power, they know how to use it, they walked in it, and they lived sainted lives and holy unto the Lord? Y'all ain't gonna help me remember. I told you five of the reasons why people can't operate in this authority is first sin, the other one is ignorance, the third one was unbelief, the fourth one was fear, and the fifth one was a lack of a prayer life. But when you know who you are in God, you don't panic when it gets tight, you don't choke. Yeah, I ain't got nobody to help me in here. Look how you looking all you, you can't even believe God to pay a bill, and I'm talking about resurrecting the dead. Somebody holler, you've been authorized. Like I told you, I love when Marla told me the doctor was looking at the x-ray going, I think I see a, hold up, adjusting his glasses, I see a faint spot. You don't see nothing. Let me try it again. I dare somebody to holler one more time, he didn't see nothing. The problem is he struggled with belief and he said, you know what? We must have got it with the radiation. Well, if you got it with the radiation, when I came back the last time, it was still there and I ain't had no treatment since the last time. You're trying to tell me that the radiation got it? Nope. The Holy Ghost arrested it. The problem, I don't know, the radiation might have worked. I wish, I wish Ruby was here this morning so she'll let you know that the radiation didn't do it, the Holy Ghost did. Mother Roma's here this morning. She'll let you know that she, she had an incurable disease that radiation and chemo couldn't clear up, but the Holy Ghost did. Y'all ain't gonna help me. They ain't got no treatment for lupus, but the Holy Ghost did it. <laughs> 